You made my camera shake. I saw. <clears throat> Hey guys. hey guys welcome back to our channel so it is well past the mid-year oh my goodness <laughs> well, i think the mid-year was like our, june our mid-year was busy it was also our slowest reading period too yes we're gonna go ahead and do the mid-year book freak out tag right now <laughs> <laughs> number one Best book you've read so far in 2019? For 2019 so far, the best book that I have read is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I love, love this book. I did not want to put this down. He can tell you every chance I got, I was reading this. And oh if God. you don't know what this book is about, our main character is Spensa. She lives on this planet. Her and her people are forced to live underground to kind of hide from the aliens that are attacking from above and their biggest defense are these pilots and she wants to be a pilot but she has trouble becoming one because her father is seen as a traitor and a coward and therefore people are doing everything they can to keep her from going to the academy but it's so much more than that I mean just her journey to becoming a pilot the relationships and you cannot get attached to any of the characters because People die. <laughs> and Brandon Sanderson is, uh, he's ruthless. When you start to like a character, they're, they're, they're gone. And it, it's, it's heart-wrenching, but I thought this was written so well. Definitely my favorite Brandon Sanderson book so far. So yeah, this is, this is mine. Mine is The Red Sea. Look at that. Look at it. It is the continuation series of the cycle of Arwen follows Dante and Blaze as they continue on with their journey in life and rolling and everything that is great about this series. More quests, more adventures, more worlds to explore. What was your favorite thing about that book? My favorite thing about this book has just been the continuation of the, the, the growing bond of Dante and Blaze. So like their relationship with each yeah. other and like, because I know you mentioned all the banter that they had. Oh my god, the banter. <laughs> <sighs> hmm. What was that book? I love this series. I love this. this. Mm. Number two. Best sequel you've read so far in 2019. I haven't read many books so far in 2019. So this is going to go to The Wicked King, which is the sequel to... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh yeah, it's your favorite sequel. <laughs> this is the only sequel I've read so far in 2019, and it was a good sequel. I forgot the name of the first book. The first book is The Cruel Prince. Doi! Oh my gosh. Okay. So cute. I'm a uh, cheerleader. <laughs> I was a cheerleader, thank you. Oh. In middle school. I don't know what to say about this book. I thought this was a... The pacing was a lot better than The Cruel Prince. Um, I loved the political intrigue, the scheming, that this ending, just like with the ending of The Cruel Prince, the ending here was, wow, I am, I was blown away, and I just, I, I don't know what's going to happen in the final book. But yeah, this, this was, this was definitely a very good sequel to The Cruel Prince. Mine is the second book in the Night Angel trilogy. It is Shadow's Edge. I am currently reading the third book, or that might have been my favorite. But it is has been a great book. It was a great book. I did give it five stars. I really like how Brent Weeks has written this world, and the character of Kyler Stern is just phenomenal, and the life's choices and being in his head as he does what the Night Angel does. And I... I very much enjoyed it. I loved it. It's a fun book. Number three. New, re <laughs> New release you haven't read but want to. This just came out. This is the Dragon Republic sequel to The Puppy War. This is written by R.F. Kuang. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's a chunker. I really want to read it. I do. I just don't know when I'm going to. I'm hoping I can read this in October. 
this is like one of the top books on my TBR that I really want to read because the first one was just really good. And I mean, would it really be a Laurie and Thomas tag if we didn't have Patricia Briggs, Mercy Thompson? I, I just, I don't know what to say. It's the next book, next installment of the series. And I mean, it's beautiful. When do you think you're going to read it? Um, I have two books ahead of it. Yes, two books ahead. Urban fantasy, vampires, Yay. werewolves, they... It's great. Number four. Most, antici most anticipated release for the second half of the year. I'm going to go first while she goes through and picks hers. I don't have one because I'm sure I do, but I don't know it yet. Because I read so many series that are already completed that I don't know if I have a anticipated release. I know sure. one at the top of my head, and that is Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson, which is the sequel to Skyward, and it comes out November 26th. Really want to read it. I'm planning to buddy read it with Jenna from Bibliophil. Super excited. Number five is The Biggest Disappointment. Mm. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, hear me out. Okay, so this is Shadow of the Fox by uh, Julie Kagawa. And I love anything that deals with Asian mythology, he can tell you. I love anything that deals with Japanese culture, Korean culture. So our main character is a kitsune. She's a half-fox demon. <sighs> ay, 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 that's basically all I remember. I know mm. that there is a uh, plot to this. I know that there's the love interest that is a ninja and... What? How many stars did you give this? I think I gave it three stars. But if it's that big of a disappointment, how did you? You know, it? I did enjoy. I enjoy the myth, myth, mythology aspect to this. What I found really disappointing was that the main character frustrated me to no end, <laughs> and then uh, I just okay, okay, like I get Twilight it. Twilight frustrated? Uh, no, not that. Not that bad. She just frustrated me. She annoyed me with some of the decisions she's made. I found her to be very naive. And there was also a lot of traveling and I didn't expect that much traveling. And I was, I read this right after I read a book that was mainly 95% traveling and I was over it. And I just, it was, I just, why? Why so much traveling? I'm over it. I don't want just constant traveling i want stuff to happen i don't know i know a lot of people like this book it it was all right it wasn't my favorite i saw we mine this book was good up until about the 70 percent mark and then it was terrible and i hated it and it killed the book for me and that is the first men in the moon by hg wells this is adult sci-fi right this was science fiction I enjoyed it all the way up until about 70% through, and it just went, dropped like a rock, and it was that I wanted to throw it through the wall. That's how bad it was. This is a famous book, but I'm sorry if there's any fans out there, I did not like it. And the, the last quarter of the book killed it for me. Number six, biggest surprise. This was the biggest surprise you for me. finished it in like a day and a half <laughs> i know right so this is house of salt and sorrows by aaron a craig um i literally just posted an unboxing where i got this book from book of the month ya holy cow okay this is i'm gonna talk more about it in our wrap up but basically this is a dark retelling of the 12 dancing princesses wow Wow, the horror aspects in here was a huge surprise. Especially you know, I could have. I really could have because some of the some of the imagery with like the horrorness of certain scenes, it ugh. I will say that if I read this when I was like 13, I probably wouldn't sleep in my bed. That's just me. I get, I get easily scared. Um so Horror is like not my best friend, but I still I still really enjoyed it. And I didn't expect it to be this dark, this scary, this creepy. And this was my very first dark retelling, so I was very surprised. The next or mine biggest surprise was A Demon in Silver by R.S. Ford. I was shocked. Um the the characters that 
developed into what they would become caught me off guard. It would I thought it would be different in what happened and it surprised me and I enjoyed it. And that leads me into favorite new author. New to me, R.S. Ford. But in all honesty, I've just been picking up a lot of new books. And R.S. Ford, J.P. Harker, Edward W. T. Robertson. A lot of these authors have become my favorites. And anytime that I see their name on something, I want to pick it up and I want to read it. I don't have any favorite author. Not yet. We'll see how the rest of this year goes. Numero eight. Your favorite crush. So my forever fictional crush will be Adam Hoffman from Mercy Thompson because he's just, ah, I love him. He's a fictional character. I love you more because you're real. Oh, so if Adam was real, I, mean, I would have competition. I mean, I'm kidding. So okay. anybody know where I can find Silver Buckshot? <laughs> but if I had to pick a new fictional crush, I'd probably go with Cassius from House of Salt and Sorrows. I really, really just love how much of a gentleman he was to Annalie and just how he talks to her. And he's just. Do I he's need cute. to talk all lovey dovey and everything with you? Oh, honey, you already do. So I don't have a favorite crush. <laughs> and. New favorite characters would be Dante and Blaze from the cycle of Arwen, the cycle oh, of Gallon. Fun fact, he wanted to name our son Dante. Because but I Dante said no. is an awesome name. Dante Dawson. I didn't like that. D and D. No. Or a double D. No. <laughs> but yes, he he loves Dante's character. Very much so. I do not have a new favorite character. Oh, no new yeah. author, no new favorite character. Oh. Wow. But you have a crush. Hmm. Oh, typical woman. Excuse me. <laughs> I love you. Uh -huh. All about the romance. I love you too. The next question. Next question. Book that made you cry. Let me guess. Nothing made you cry. No, that'd be last year. We didn't read that many books this year. Not yet. This book made me tear up because of struggles, strife, and how I could relate to it as a parent. And sometimes when I get into a book, sometimes I think about what would I do in that situation you know, that and relate to it. It takes a lot for him to even get close to shedding a tear. Normally for him to get to that point, he'd have to drink a lot. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're not an emotional person. You don't show emotion. Yeah. You're not that side anyways. Yeah. 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 Not like I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Book that made you happy. Fruits basket. Happiness. Sadness too, but more so happiness. Six gun tarot. It made me happy because I enjoyed it. And it was just a mixing pot of everything that I love. And I loved it. And it's awesome. Most beautiful book that you've bought so far this year. The gutter prayer. I love it. Stunning. But then again, a lot of the titles that I've pulled out so far have been stunning. I guess if I had to pick, um, I'd go with The Wicked King. I mean, I just, I adore this cover so much. I think it's so beautiful and captivating. Um, and I didn't buy this. This was actually given to me by Leia from Where in the World is Leia Jane. So Leia, if you're watching, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. One of the prettiest books I've ever gotten. So the next one is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? I need to read the rest of the Harry Potter series. I just finished Goblet of Fire, so I still need to get through Order of the Phoenix, The Half-Blood Prince, <coughs> and then, then the last book. The title escapes me, but yes. I also need Deathly to- Gow Deathly Hallows? Yes, there we go. Wow, he's not a Harry Potter fan and he knew the title. That's sad. Moving on. Another series that I really need to finish is the Mercy Thompson series. I have a few more books to go. Hopefully. Not finish. Catch up on. Catch up on. Yeah, there's another book coming out next year. But 
I and need the to... Alpha Omega series. You need to catch up on that. I'm not gonna be able to catch up on that by the end of the year. <laughs> and then uh, fruits basket. I want to finish the entire fruits basket series, manga series before the end of the year. My goodness, woman. We don't have so much money, and we have a baby coming. Amazon. Books are cheaper on Amazon. Well, before she completely kills my wallet. <laughs> The one book I need to finish by the end of the year, <laughs> the song of all, is a book that I have enjoyed that I haven't picked back up because it's a slow read and I haven't really been in the mood to read it. But I will finish it because I am enjoying it. Um, my entire TBR. That's not happening. Because my TBR keeps growing. Thank Faster you. than I can read! You should thank BookTube for that and all the ads you see on your phone. <laughs> BookTube and Facebook. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That wraps up the tag. I don't think we're going to tag anyone because well, this is a very old tag. But if you haven't done it and you want to do it, do it. Get her done. <laughs> You're adorable. We hope you all are doing well. And we'll talk with you guys in our next video. Bye-bye now. Bye. -bye now. Bye.